Hey guys, Big Z here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing part two, of showing you guys all the games I've played on PlayStation, going over my trophies. Now we're about a third of the way through, so this may be a three part uh, series, considering the first episode was over half an hour. Uh, so we're right back where we left off. I moved the camera over a little bit. Um, if you did miss the first episode, guys, be sure to check that one out. Link will be in the description. Now yeah, here we have Class of Heroes 2G. Making sure everything's working. It looks pretty good. Uh, Class of Heroes 2G was the first big PS3 heavy hitter I went for. Um, I finally did get a copy once it was reprinted. I opened that sealed copy right away and played it. It was okay. As you can see, clearly I didn't finish it. I will return to it one day. Yeah, but it was an interesting dungeon crawler. I wouldn't say it was bad. Um, but it's a game that I definitely need to return to. Here we have Trivial Pursuit for the PS3. I actually honestly cannot even remember playing this game, so... <laughs> Take that with a grain of salt. I've got a really good memory. Um, I'm going to this straight. Alright, there we go. Tekken Tag Tournament HD. Oh man, Tekken Tag on PS2 takes me back as a kid. Amazing game, and I did enjoy replaying it again on PS3. Um, I didn't play it for hours or anything, I think it was just one day, but this is a great game. Uh, if you haven't played Tekken Tag Tournament or Tekken Tag Tournament 2, I'd definitely check it out. Here we have Mayhem 3D. This is like a um, destruction derby racing uh, game that's in black and white, however, it does have 3D glasses, so you can see like red and stuff in the game. It was really fun, as you can see, I played it a lot. Uh, I didn't get the platinum, there were a couple of trophies that were annoying me, so I didn't pursue the um, platinum or anything. Here we have El Shaddai, Ascension of the Megatron. Um, it is actually hard to explain how crazy this game is. I highly recommend it. It's like playing an anime game on acid. <laughs> it's probably the best way to describe it. Here we have Under Defeat HD Deluxe Edition. Uh, this is a shoot 'em up. However, it kicked my ass, guys. This is a really hard game. Um, I was enjoying it, but I could only get through one or two levels. It was really tough. A uh, fun racing game, World of Outlaws Sprint Cars. Uh, I played this one quite a bit. You're basically just racing around in a circle track in sprint cars, um, but it is really fun. Uh, there is multiplayer as well. It's really fun in a driving simulator. Um, I have played in a driving sim this game, and I highly recommend that. Now here's a game I finished. I really enjoyed this one, and that's Man vs. Wild on PS3. It's actually a really fun game. Um, it's a survival game. If you're into that type of thing, if you're a Bear Grylls fan, you'll definitely like this one, guys. Uh, yeah, Man vs. Wild. Go check it out. Battlefield 1 on PS4. I have no memory of playing this one. Maybe it was my little brother who played this, possibly. Tornado Outbreak. Guys, this is a PS3 hidden gem. This is up there. In my top 10 PS3 games, Tornado Outbreak's amazing. Um, think of Katamari, you started as like a little tornado, and the more you destroy, the bigger you get. Uh, it's a heap of fun, I played through the whole game, I obviously didn't do all the trophies, but that's not my thing. Um, but yeah, I'd give Tornado Outbreak a try, guys. Uh, it's a little bit expensive, um, I'm not sure how expensive it is on the store, if you can find a copy, definitely give it a go. It's very fun. Here we have Final Fantasy XV. I played this when it first came out. Um, the first stage 13 sucked, but I got through it. I finished it. I did really enjoy it, but I didn't play New Game Plus or anything. Um, it was the first Final Fantasy game that I have finished. And I pre-ordered this one, so I was not disappointed. Um, and I'll definitely be getting the next main line Final Fantasy game on day one. Twisted Metal. Um, I played a bit of this, it was pretty fun. Um, I never played this back in the day on PS1. I did play like the um, Vigilant 8 games and Vigilant 8 Second Offense. They were a heap of fun. 
Um, but yeah, Twisted Metal is a good game. Go. Dark Souls 2 on PS3. Uh, my first roll through of this, I did enjoy it, but I was just new to the Dark Souls series and it was kicking my ass. I did then pick up a copy on PS4 and haven't since returned to my PS3 file. I may one day go back and try and even get the platinum in this. Here we have Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Uh, there was a stage where I was trying to play a shooter a day for the PS3 group. Uh, so as you're going to see, I'm pumped through heaps, sorry, not a shooter, a fighter. As you're going to see, I've pumped through heaps of fighting games. But I had a heap of fun with um, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. It was a crazy fighter. If you're a Persona fan, you'll definitely like this one. Thomas was alone. Now, I actually really like this game. It's a limited run game. That's not too loud. It's a limited run game that I actually opened and played through and as you can see I got all the trophies. There wasn't a platinum for it but I got 100%. If you're a puzzler slash platforming fan I definitely recommend Thomas Was Alone. It was heaps of fun guys. Now here we have Dragon Quest Builders. I really enjoy this as well. Um, I do want to play the second one and stick to it. Um, but yeah, if you're a Minecraft slash Dragon Quest fan, you will like Dragon Quest Builders. Another game I need to return to, and that's Dark Chronicle. Love my Dark Cloud, so, um... This is called Dark Cloud 2, guys. If you're in America, or if you're in the Power Region, Dark Chronicle. Uh, I really do want to return to it. I actually might dive into that tonight. Here we have Shante Risky's Revenge, the director's cut. I opened my sealed PS4 limited run copy and played it. Um, honestly, my opinion was it was a little bit outdated. Um, but it was a really fun game. If you're a platforming fan, especially like that 90s style of platforming, you'll enjoy the Shante games. Watch Dogs 2. I actually love this game, guys. Set in San Francisco. Uh, this has got one of the most beautiful open worlds you'll ever play in. The Golden Gate Bridge, it was just an amazing game. Um, by the look of it, I didn't finish the main story. It's a huge game, but I had a heap of fun playing Watch Dogs 2. DuckTales Remastered. Another one of my top 10 PS3 games to play. Um, I love DuckTales growing up on Game Boy, and the remaster they certainly lived up to its hype. I really enjoyed this one, guys. Another one of my limited run games I opened, and that's Firewatch. And this is an amazing game. I recommend this to so many people. The walking simulator, which might sound a bit slow, but um, yeah, guys, get into Firewatch. This is so much fun. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, Yakuza Zero. Um, I mean, the Yakuza games are alright, but they're not for me. Um, but I have played a few of them. I just wanted to give them a go. Uh, here we have Ketsui on PS3. This is another really tough shoot 'em up, but I got through quite a few levels on this one and replayed it quite a few times. Um, yeah, if you're a shoot 'em up fan, definitely give Ketsui a go. The Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. I can't even remember which games I played on this, um, but I know this is a great collection. If you're a Mega Drive fan, grab this and replay all your games, your favorites on the PS3. <laughs> Adventure Capitalist. I played this on the phone and um, I downloaded it for free and just playing it heap on PS4. It's a bit of fun. It's nothing serious. If you are played it on mobile, I guess you're enjoyed. It's like an economic game. Uh, here we have Port Royal 3. This is actually quite fun. It's an open world uh, merchant type game. Um, yeah, I enjoyed this. I really want to dig into Port Royale 4. I haven't tried it yet. Undenighted Birth. This is another fighter game. It was okay. It didn't really do much for me. And here we have Blur. I've played quite a bit of this, just mainly two player with friends. Uh, I think Need for Speed Underground mixed with like Mario Kart. Um, but yeah, it sounds as, it's as good as it sounds. It's actually a really good racing game. Probably one of the best on PS3. Uh, here we have Aegis of Earth, um, Prometheus' Assault. Uh, this is like a tower defense game. It was pretty fun. Uh, if you're into 
tower defense games definitely give this one a go because it's one of the better ones i've played lost dimension this was a uh, it was a jrpg it was uh what was this what's that style called it's, i think it might be cyberpunk it was different to actual cyberpunk game but i think it's that cyberpunk style um i didn't really like it it was sort of turn-based and really slow but it wasn't for me Nuria Storm R. Uh, I didn't play this one. This would have been one of my friends playing it. Superstar V8 Challenge. Now this is a great game, guys. Another hidden gem on the PS3. A good racing game. If you're into V8s, definitely jump on this one. Now you'll see probably the first platinum trophy in my collection, Neo. Um, I actually took time off work to play this one. The day it came out, I had two weeks off. I got the platinum literally 10 days after this came out uh, i never played the dlc but yeah i smashed this game out i was if you look up like the top 150 people to get the platinum i'm in the top 150. Uh, here we have hitman i do like the hitman games but i prefer the ps2 and 3 ones over the current hitman series i'm not a big fan of that like replayability i just like playing through them now uh, wipeout 2 this is uh, Wipeout, like the TV show Wipeout, and this is a heap of fun on PS3, guys, especially couch co op with your friends. Uh, here we have Blade Storm Nightmare. I didn't play too much of this one. Horizon Zero Dawn, another game I bought on release and finish. I actually really love this one. Um, I do need to play the new one um, coming out at the same time as Elden Ring, just sort of ruin the experience for me, so I do need to get a copy and play it. Jeopardy! What a great game! Jeopardy's so much fun, guys. Uh, and the PS3 version doesn't disappoint. If you're a fan of the TV show, you'll definitely like this. Uh, the Trails of Heroes... The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cult to Deal. I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, I need to put more time into it. It's just one of those games that I played for like 8 hours straight and just haven't returned to it. Probably more like 4 or 5 hours straight. Monster Jam Path of Destruction. This is quite fun if you're a Monster Jam fan, like a Monster Truck fan, you'll enjoy this one. Adam Venture Chronicles. This is like a poor man's Uncharted, but I had a heap of fun playing this one. Um, I've almost played through the entire game. Dark Souls 3. You guys know I love my Dark Souls, and I've probably got 500 hours into Dark Souls 3. Lots of online play. I got the platinum trophy pretty quickly. Um, yeah, this is actually my first Dark Souls game, so it did take me a long time to get through it initially. Uh, but I'm so proud of this platinum trophy. I love Dark Souls, and Dark Souls 3 is one of the best games ever made. Here we have Dark Souls on PS1. I haven't got the platinum. I did finish it, and I'm on New Game Plus somewhere, so I do need to return to my save and get the platinum one day on PS1. Here we have Shantae Half Genie Hero, uh, and one of the new Shantae games I wanted to try and I did enjoy this one more than the previous one. Just watching the timer, I only want this video to go for about half an hour. Now here we have Terraria, um, I ha actually really enjoyed Terraria, I need to return to it. Uh, one of my friends plays it and tells me about it all the time, I've only played it once and I've played it for hours. Here we have Back to the Future, the game. I am not a Telltale fan, but this is actually really fun, guys. Um, I mean, that should say it all. Um, if you're a Telltale fan, you'll definitely love this. Persona 5, now I've probably got 15 hours into Persona 5. I played through like one and a half dungeons. It was great, but it was just too slow for me. Um, that's why I stopped playing it. Bloodborne. One of the best games ever made. Miyazaki, you were a genius. Brilliant game, brilliant DLC. Um, Platinum Trophy, I can't wait to play this again. I can't, but if you haven't played Bloodborne, stop what you're doing right now. If you haven't got a PS4, you should buy one for Bloodborne. <laughs> if you've got the Bloodborne Trophy, let us know in the comments. Um, people who have played this, I've got the platinum. Like, the platinum rate's so high, I don't know if it says it. 6.5%. That's a Dark Souls game. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I love Bloodborne, guys. 
Dark Souls set in a Victorian era. It's such a beautiful game. Uh, Blue Rider. This is a Play Asia exclusive. It's sort of like a shoot 'em up. Um, it's probably not the way to describe it. You sort of just drive your ship around. It's kind of like a shoot 'em up, but not really. <laughs> that makes sense. Lost in the Rain on PS3. Amazing game. Um, heap of fun. I recommend this one digitally because. The physical copy is like $800 these days. Heal. This is actually a really fun open world game, guys. Um, I believe at the time it had like the biggest map ever. Yeah, it's a heap of fun. You just drive around America and yeah, it's heaps of fun. Lords of the Fallen. It was probably the first Dark Souls clone. Um, I actually never finished it. I got through most of the game, but it was bad. It was clunky. Apparently they're making a second one. But yeah. Mega Mine, I didn't really like this one. Uh, kids game, apparently it's like a 30 minute platinum. I played it for 10 minutes and just had to stop. And again, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I didn't like this. Um, I'm not a big fan of um, shooters being RPGs, I guess. Cyberpunk did it pretty well, but yeah, I just didn't really like this one. Demon Souls. Oh man, this Platinum Trophy took me so long. Probably like 300 hours to get this one. Grinding out that pure Bladestone sh move, Bladestone Shard or whatever it was. I think that took me like 12 hours. I got it at like 4 in the morning and it was such a good feeling. Yeah, Demon Souls guys. Amazing game. Rugby World Cup 2015. You guys know I love my rugby games. Can't really say too much about them. What I haven't said already. This is The Police. This game is actually really bad. Um, it's like a 90s port that shouldn't have been ported. <laughs> Tropico 5. Brilliant game. El Presidente. I have Tropico 6. I played on PC. It's a brilliant, brilliant game. That's why you won't see any trophies for it. The Surge. Uh, one of the first Souls clones, but this is actually a brilliant game. I finished this one. I haven't got all the trophies. But yeah, this was a brilliant game, guys. I highly recommend The Surge. The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. Uh, this is actually really good. If you're a Monkey Island fan, I definitely recommend checking The Secret of Monkey Island out on PS3. History, Great Battles Medieval. Um, I didn't think this one was that good. Skyrim on PS4. Now, I would have the Platinum, but I missed one trophy and then I didn't want to restart after like a hundred hours so I just stopped um, but yeah I love Skyrim it was great to replay it again on PS4 I probably even buy it again one day on PS5 or play it again on the switch Skyrim's an amazing game having a free four or five year break between playing it's just great I cannot wait for the new Elder Scrolls game to come out another rugby challenge game rugby challenge 3 uh, here we have Constructor. This is a remake of the original PS1 game. And some games just shouldn't be ported. They should just remake a sequel to them. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't that good. And I did play full price for this one. Rugby League Live 3. Great game. I played a heap of it. Uh, if you're a Rugby League fan, you'll enjoy the Rugby League Live games. Number 4 is good too. I haven't played too much of it. Here we have Torment Tides of Nemeria, another 90s game that was ported. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan, it was sort of like a top-down Diablo 1-2 style game. Stardew Valley, or 500 hours into my PS4 file, I've played it again on the Switch. Amazing game, one of the best games I've ever played, made by one person. If you haven't played Stardew Valley, give you, do yourselves a favour, give it a go. Like, it's not for everyone, but people who do enjoy it, Stardew becomes your life. <laughs> and then up being playing Stardew, I played similar games after that. Animal Crossing, Rune Factory, Tides of Destiny. Uh, very similar type game. This is actually really good, I do want to return to it. I've heard bad things about the new Rune Factory games, which is really disappointing, but Rune Factory, Tides of Destiny was heaps of fun going. Middle of Earth Shadow of Mordor, the Game of the Year edition. This is really good. 
Um, but it was one of those games that I just think they're a little bit easy and they get boring after a while for me. Prison Architect, the PS4 edition. This is fun, but it's not a game that you want to pay more than like $20 for. It was fun though. Farming Simulator 15, um, pretty good game. Like I'm not a big farming sim type game, but for what they are, I can really appreciate them and understand why they have such a cult following. Dishonored 2, I actually finished this one. I had a heap of fun with it, guys. I tried to play Dishonored after this, as you will see, and didn't really enjoy it, but Dishonored 2 was great for me. Odin Spear, amazing game. Um, I'm not sure I finished it, but yeah, Odin Spear was absolutely amazing. Beautiful artwork, great storyline, good RPG mechanics. Uh, here we have Saw. I played up to a certain point where you had to like spin your analog sticks around and I just couldn't get past that one. Um, but yeah, I thought Saw was a pretty fun game guys. If you're a horror fan, give Saw a go. Now Crash Bandicoot, I love Crash. As you can see, I finished all three of them. I didn't get all the trophies, um, but I did every single level. I went back and just was determined to beat them all. Um, yeah, I smashed those three out. I put in probably 40, 50 hours into these Crash remakes, play the originals, love playing them again. And while that I played Mortal Kombat 10, I think I played this with some friends, it was fun but not my game, I'm a Tekken fan. <laughs> Star Ocean, Integrity and Faithlessness. This is actually heaps of fun, uh, I'm not sure why I stopped playing it but I was really enjoying this one. Uh, Son of Mora and Matterfall are two games that sort of are on the same level. They're both cheap games, uh, but for what they are, they're a heap of fun. I recommend both of them uh, to people, whether it's on the Switch or PS4. You can get them both for under 10 bucks. Um, I'm probably going to wrap this episode up here with Toro, guys. Uh, Toro is a heap of fun. It's a bullfighting game, a silly game, but it actually is really fun. Uh, if you've got a copy, definitely give it a go. That's part two of all my trophies on PS3. If you like what you see on PS3, sorry, PlayStation 3, 4, uh, or 5. Um, we will do one more episode to get through the rest of these guys. Um, but yeah, it's a heap of fun showing you guys my games. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, hit that like button, subscribe. I'm Vigzy, you guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.